Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, buenos dias, bonjour, whatever your language is. Welcome to all and thank you for allowing me to join our global team and our partners from around the world for the Ingram Micro One experience. Like you, we have held many virtual events this year. However, this is the first time we brought our global ecosystem of partners together on a collective and collaborative platform. This is an extraordinary opportunity to network, learn from regional experts, imagine what's next for technology, and even, why not, close some deals. It's going to be a great couple of days. With just uh, under two months left this year, you have to wonder what else we should expect. Clearly, this has been a year filled with tremendous challenges. The global pandemic, social unrest, and natural disasters impacting every corner of our planet. We've all had to adjust our businesses and work environments, while also making significant changes to our home and social lives. But challenge brings the best from us, bringing surprisingly strong positive reactions, oftentimes better than we expected from others, but also from ourselves. With challenge also come opportunities. And I believe that innovation, agility, but most of all technology have become more important than ever. While many have seen robust demand for the solutions and services our companies provide, much of this demand is coming from different ways of solving different problems. So yes, we're all adapting and embracing a different future, despite the challenges and changes. Yet some things remain the same, relationships, Cooperation, collaboration, and teamwork all remain critical cornerstones of success. At Ingram, we're strong because of our people and our partners. But remember, ultimately, it is what we accomplish together that really matters. I'm extremely proud that collectively, we have fulfilled our responsibility of keeping our world informed, supplied, and connected. It's not hyperbole to say that together with our partner communities, we have helped keep our global economy operating during this time of crisis. I thank you for your partnership and all the things we have done together to keep everyone working and help alleviate the pain of those businesses most exposed. Over the next two days, you're going to hear much from Ingram Micro's leaders and from the leadership of several of our world's top technology companies, as well as from innovative and up and coming brands. We want you to imagine what's coming next for our industry and what we can do together. We also need your feedback on where you are seeing future demand for solutions and services that is not being met or not being addressed in a way you believe it should or could. As you're now used to, when we get together with our partners every year, we like to discuss the future evolution of our business and our markets. Yes, I said evolution, which means that transformations usually happen step by step. Even when a new revolutionary technology appears, its adoption and usage happens rather gradually. Well, in 2020, we did not have the leisure of an evolution. We had to face a cliff change in market dynamics, and many of these changes will remain for a long time. Think about some of them. BCP, Business Continuity Planning. Will you think about it as you did before? Optimization through collocation and consolidation of resources. Yes, but how about risk? Has work from home shown a different path that can also work? What does uh, on-premise versus off-premise mean now and in the future? Are the infrastructure designs going to change and how? has the importance of network connectivity, reliability, and bandwidth changed? I mean, any time from anywhere, not just in the office. We all knew that somewhere there was a trade-off between the need to travel for in-person meetings versus having virtual meetings. Did we ever think there was so much transferability from one to the other? What can be or should be the new balance? Deglobalization had already started before COVID, mostly for political and nationalistic reasons. 
But COVID has added a very thick layer of what I would call viscosity in the global exchanges. How much will come back and how much will not? This one can be controversial, but I'm just throwing it in there for consideration. Has or will the undeniable increase in work from home in the future impacted our diversity and inclusion status and endeavors? And how? I could go on and on. I just want to remind all of us that what has happened this year and is still happening now can significantly change what we do and how we do it in the future. Not only because of the forced changes, but because of how it has opened our minds to look at things so differently. I cannot tell you how to answer these questions, but one thing is certain. If you don't have a view, chances are you'll miss something big. I'm the first one to miss the in-person, face-to-face dialogue we have had in the past during you know, these gatherings, especially the more relaxed couple of drinks at the bar after the sessions. Well, unfortunately, not this year, my friends. But please, make the most of these two days. The future we have is bright, and it's not by chance, but because together, we will make it bright. I hope to see you all very soon. Enjoy your sessions.